Hi, welcome to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my April favorites. So products I've been loving in April and yeah, let's just get started. So the first thing that I have is actually a few brushes. And um, this first one is from e.l.f. and it's just their dense buffer brush. And I'm sure a lot of people like to use this with foundation, but what I like to use this for is with ColourPop blushes. So if you're familiar with ColourPop, awesome company, probably my favorite. I'm not sponsored, but um, you know that they're, if you're familiar with them, <laughs> you know that their products are kind of a weird formula and so a lot of people I think are sort of unsure or frustrated with how to use them and so if you have some of their blushes and you're just like I don't know how to apply these and your fingers aren't really working I'd really recommend a brush like this that's just really dense and you can just swirl it in the blush and then pat it on your cheeks and it works really well I did that today with Cruel Intentions that's why this is dirty and it works amazing, I think. So yeah, definitely get a brush like this if you're having trouble with ColourPop blushes. I can't believe I got through that whole thing. Not saying brush instead of blush. Well. Okay, this other brush that I have is not new either, but it's from NYX and it's their um, fan brush, which um, is a little strange because it's super dense, but I love this brush and how dense it is. I jinxed myself. Now I'm gonna say blush. Um, I love this brush because it is really dense and it's great for contour. It just fits right in your cheek and it blends out powder contour contour really well so yeah if you're looking for a new contour brush I'd highly recommend this I got it on their website and I think it was around ten dollars I'm not positive but yeah definitely really great great quality I really like the next brush blushes brushes ah okay moving on from the brushes and the blushes so I can stop messing up um Okay, I'm really excited to talk about these. So um, these are actually the Wet n Wild. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> these are the Wet n Wild One Step Gel Polishes, and these are amazing. If you're like me and you hate nail polish because it always chips on you, like right after you paint your nails, please get these. They're like two dollars at Walgreens, and they're awesome. I was using the Sally Hansen gel polishes before, and they were okay, but they still chipped on me, and they're like. $10 a bottle and you have to buy um, the top coat and the color which is just like a lot for me and then I'm also a Taurus and I'm super lazy and so waiting for a color to dry and then waiting even longer for a top coat to dry is just it's too much for me like I want my hands back I want to get the show on the road so these are awesome because they're one step if I could keep putting them the right, the right way um, they're one step they dry super quickly and they stay forever I was wearing this periwinkle of an eye color a couple weeks ago and it stayed without chipping for over two weeks it was awesome and then obviously right now I'm wearing this lavender out loud color they're just really beautiful I'd say the only downside is the packages are black but the stickers I found are actually really true to what the actual color is. So yeah, definitely check those out. Um, especially if you're like me and you're lazy and you also get frustrated with nail polish really quickly. <laughs> um, so yeah, now that we're done talking about my little <laughs> fun little quirks, um, let's get on to talking about ColourPop Spring Collection. I love their Spring Collection. It's awesome. I picked up two of their eyeshadows. This is Belladonna Lily. It's their matte teal. And I know a lot of people like to sort of bash on their matte colors, but this is awesome and super creamy. And I think it blends out super well as opposed to like some of their other matte shadows. So definitely check that out. And then you have to buy this. Like I'm not trying to like force you or anything, but I like strongly suggest that you buy this color. This is Flower Shop and it's this pearlized greenish teal and it's just absolutely stunning it's my favorite eyeshadow I think not even just from Colourpop but from anywhere this is also it on top of Belladonna Lily it just transforms anything it's put on top of it looks great by itself and Colourpop's seasonal collections are a limited edition as far as I know so definitely snatch this up before it goes away um, 
I should probably get another one because I'm gonna hit pan on that soon. Um, thank you, son, for going away. And then, um, also from the ColourPop Spring Collection, I picked up, ooh, where did they go? Ah, I was sitting on them. <laughs> so I picked up these two Ultra Sat Tin lips, and these are amazing. I also love their Ultra Matte lips. I know a lot of people don't. I do, but if you don't like their Ultra um, Matte, I highly recommend you pick up their Ultra Satin because they're an amazing formula. They're still pretty matte, and even though they're not transfer proof, they wear for a really long time. And these two spring colors are absolutely beautiful. This coral is botanical, and it's super bright, really opaque, just beautiful. That's it right there. And then Naked Ladies is also stunning. It's like a bright corally pinkish red, I guess you'd say. And I wore this one the other day and got a lot of compliments on it. It's just beautiful. I highly recommend their Ultra Satin Lips. I think that they're gorgeous and I think I like them even more than their Ultra Mattes, even though I do love those. Um, and I think they're only like $6, so really affordable. Um, I have another liquid lip. This is not from ColourPop. This is from Abony Cosmetics, I think is how you say it. And this is their color Daydream. And it's just an absolutely beautiful, really light gray with some like purpley brown tones in it. I love it. I really love wearing this underneath ColourPop's Marshmallow, the Ultra Satin Lip in Marshmallow. Really beautiful. Um, Abony, I believe, is cruelty free and vegan. But they're also just a really nice company. I would highly suggest um, checking them out. I really like this liquid lip. I should pick up some more colors. I have not yet, but I love this one. Um, some things from the drugstore that I've recently been loving as well is this L'Oreal anti-redness primer. Magic anti-redness. I don't know about magic. But um, it's just a really great color correcting primer. I don't use it all the time, but if I have a lot of redness, I think it's really nice to sort of prime and correct at the same time. And I know color correcting is really big right now. Um, I don't necessarily think you need to be doing it, but if you would like just a little extra help, especially if you have acne prone skin or like rosacea, I think this is a great option for you. And it's a little expensive. I think it was around eight or nine dollars, but you get a lot of products. So I'd highly recommend this. Um, and then another really great drugstore product that I've been using lately is this Wet n Wild Setting Spray. It's called the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray for all day wear. And this, I don't know if you can see that, is how wide the spray is. It's really great. It's not one of those sprays that sort of just like squirts you like <laughs> right in like one spot and then you're like, well, that was useless. Um, this is has a really great like wide spray and it really helps your makeup stay and it's affordable. I really like this. Um, so if you're looking for a new setting spray that's not gonna break the bank, I'd highly recommend that. Um, Something else I've really been loving lately are these Suva Beauty Hydra Liners, and these products do need a mixing agent. I like to use them with the Cinema Secrets Eyeliner Sealer um, to mix and then get them ready for use. Um, but this is scrunchy, and it's a UV, really bright, corally pink. It's beautiful. And then this is Cherry Bomb, which is a matte one, and they have 10 grams of product in here, a lot, and. Um, they're really nice because they are naturally dry, so um, they'll keep for a long time because you're just mixing them um, to prep them each time you use them. So I really like these, highly recommend them. I think they're beautiful. And then, um, oh yeah, so I think that's all of the makeup I have to share with you, but I'd also really like to share with you a little hair care thing, which I'm sure you've heard about before, but this is Overtone Color Depositing Conditioner. Um, I heard about this about a year ago on the Dainty Squid Kayla's blog, and I was like, well, Kayla's basically like the hair queen, so I should check this out because I have strangely colored hair, and if you have rainbow colored hair, you know that it's really hard to keep it in because all of the rainbow colors are not permanent and they wash out really quickly. So this is really great because you don't have to wash your hair with cold water. You can wash it with warm water. and um, 
it's color depositing so it helps your color stay fresh with each wash um, so it's really great uh, I'd highly recommend this uh, it, help keep, it helps keep your hair healthy as well so yeah those are all of my April favorites um, please let me know that you like this by liking and please remember to subscribe and please comment down below what you've been loving this April so I can check it out if I haven't already because <laughs> I love capitalism so yeah Bye, thanks so much for stopping by.